So a lot of what's common in rockabilly music, and a lot of early music like that, a lot of Western music, country Western music, early country, was the use of a large reverb, um, but most commonly it was a slapback delay. And that's an effect that was uh, more or less honed in on over the years, and you can get that effect with a delay pedal. To achieve that setting, what you want is you want a very quick response from the note or chord that you played. It's not, it, it's, it's not a stereo effect, but it is a direct sample that happens you know, a millisecond later. Um, you're not really thinking about milliseconds, you're really just trying to get the quickest response so that it so that sounds like the note or chord you played is bouncing off a wall right back at you or you're in a cavernous hall or, or recording studio to get that that effect of, of uh, space. So what I've done here in order to achieve this slapback delay is I have the, um, let's start on the right, I have the blend setting right about 12 o'clock so that I'm getting an even amount of clean sound from my guitar versus the effect level. The middle is the feedback, which is, is pretty far down, I'd say about 9 o'clock. If you, if you listen, what ends up happening is, is um, it reacts with the delay setting, which is next to it. The delay is, let's go over here to the knob on the left. Now you're hearing a little bit of a pitch shift, and that is, is uh, very common in the analog delay pedals because the tape delays that they had, such as the Echoplex, um, when you would adjust the delay setting and the speed, you would slow down the tape and you'd get almost like a, um, a uh, the, the loop would slow down so fast that you would get almost a pitch shift. That's not intentional, but it is, not, it is, it is a, an effect that you can use with these pedals that's pretty cool. Um, so as I increase the delay setting, You hear that? That's the delay time. So what you're hearing is you're hearing the amount of time in between each note um, increasing or decreasing in speed. As I decrease the knob, you hear it's pretty quick. Now, if you adjust the feedback setting, let's let's hear how that is. So now what we're doing is we're increasing to a minimum and maximum level of the amount of the repeats. Speed of repeat with the delay setting, amount of repeats with the feedback setting. And as far as the uh, language, every pedal has a different way of, uh, a different name they may call it, but that's basically it.